Hi, welcome to Raw Math. Today I'm doing a series of videos on finance equations and specifically annuities. In this video, I kind of want to talk about what an annuity is. So Kate and Kern are planning to invest $2,500 at the end of each year for four years. So this is what an annuity is. You take some amount of money and invest it periodically versus a, um, a more common algebra finance equation, which is just compound interest where you have a lump sum. This is stepping away from the lump sum and getting into the idea of doing a periodic payment over and over. Okay, so they deposit the first amount. It has three years to grow. It ends up as $3,062.61. The second year, they deposit $2,500. It grows at 7% interest. It has two years to grow. It grows to $2,862.25. And then the next year they do it again. And this has one year to grow and it grows to $2,675. And then the last a bit is not going to accrue interest. They're gonna throw it in and that's how much money they have after four years, well, on the fourth year. So what we're doing here is because each year the money has a different amount of time to grow, we're calculating each year's deposit separately. Then to find the total, we have to add these up. And if we add these four numbers up, we get a total of $11,099.86. Now this was just four years, once a year, four calculations, and that was pretty tedious. And so what we need to do is we need to find a way to not have to do this with a table because what if we deposited weekly for 10 years? That would be a really big table. So first of all, an ordinary annuity is a, something where the periodic payment made at the end of each periodic, uh, at each period. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna find a way where we could have thrown this into the calculator in one step versus multiple steps. So this is what we did. From the table, we took 2,500, 1.07 to the zero, plus 2,500, 1.07 to the one, and so on. That was the table up above. So we're gonna play with this. The first thing I wanna do is I wanna multiply both sides by this 1.07. So I have, um, 1.07 times A equals 2,500 times 1.07. Now, when you multiply 1.07 to another 1.07, you just increase the exponent by one, so the zero becomes one. 2,500, the one becomes two. 2,500, the two becomes three. 2,500, and the three becomes four. Then it says, Subtract the original. Okay, so the original is A equals 2,500 times 1.07 to the zero plus 2,500, 1.07 to the one plus 2,500, 1.07 squared plus 2,500, 1.07 cubed, and then subtract. So the way I'm going to subtract these, and if anyone has seen me subtract, you'll know exactly what I'm about to do, is I'm gonna just make all these pluses minus. I'm gonna distribute that negative, and then I'm gonna subtract down. And what's gonna happen is the pluses and the minuses are gonna nicely cancel. And I'm gonna be left with 1.07 times A which that doesn't really need parentheses, minus a, that's on the left-hand side because my equal sign is here and here. Well, this is still here, a negative 2,500 times 1.07 to the zero. Those cancel, cancel, and we have this one, plus 2,500 times 1.07 to the fourth. Okay, now it says solve for a. I'm gonna clean this up a little bit. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna factor the A out of this. So I'm gonna say A times 1.07 minus one 
anything to the power of zero is one. So this is really 2,500 times one. So I have, I'm gonna switch these two terms around. So I have 2,500 times 1 1.07 to the fourth minus 2,500. Just like I factored an A out of the left-hand side, I'm gonna factor the 2,500 out of the right-hand side. And look at this, 1.07 minus one, that's A times 0 0.07 equals 2,500 times 1 1.07 to the fourth minus one. Then I can divide by the 0 0.07. And I end up with A, my final amount, equals 2,500 times, in brackets, 1.07 to the fourth minus one, all divided by 0 0.07. And if you throw this into your calculator, you're going to get 11,099 and 86 cents. So this one calculation right here will get us the same calculation that we got in the table. From here on out in the rest of the videos, I will use the formula. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel, like my Facebook page, and I'll see you on the next video. Thanks!